Welcome dear students. Today we are going for uh, physics topic for 10 plus 2 grade and today's topic is electric potential. Now, watch the full video. We will go through all the parameters of electric potential. First of all, the basic concept of electric potential, the types, its vector of scalar and similarly its statement and the formula used and the SI and CGS units we go through all of these and then one bolt and one stack bolt definitions then relation between bolt and stack bolt and not the least we are going through the expression for electric potential which is very important so watch the full video so first of all we are going through the basic concept of electric potential now what is electric potential it is a degree of electrification which determines in which direction the charge will flow which means if anybody if anybody suppose anybody A is giving positive charge if anybody is giving positive charge which means that body is at high potential and in physics we also say that is at positive potential because that is giving positive charge so which can also be known as a positive potential just as a positive terminal of battery and similarly if anybody suppose anybody B is giving negative charge now if anybody is emitting negative charge which means that body is at low potential and which means that body is at low potential or in physics you can also say that is at negative potential so which means the electric potential determines in which direction the charge will flow if a, if a body emitting positive charge that is at high potential if a body is emitting negative charge which means that is at a low potential so it's a very simple thing and these are also going to be the two types of potential as well high and low or in physics you can say positive and negative potential now these two parameters are going through each and every one if we go through the positive potential and negative potential very good conceptual question come from this concept so the first general thing is that why we feel shock if we touch a live wire obviously in India we are having wires at 220 volt and if we ground it and not wearing shoes so we are at zero volt and if we are touching any wire then the potential goes through here which means it always moves from higher to lower even it gets equilibrium position because we are touching a wire of 220 volt and we are grounded at zero volt the potential will go through your body and human body is a conducting body so which means you will feel shock but the exceptional case in that is if uh, you have seen so many birds are sitting on live wires or high voltage wires but they are not feeling shock the reason for that because both the fields both the fields of the birds are on same potential which means there is not but any potential difference that's why the birds didn't feel any shock while sitting on high tension voltage wires so that is the main reason we have why we feel shock by touching a wire if we are grounded and the birds are not getting shock because they are on equal potential now going to the basic term the statement and the formula of potential the basic statement for electric potential is very simple if we bring a positive unit charge from infinity to a particular point if we bring a positive unit charge from infinity to a particular point then the amount of work done is stored as electric potential the amount of work done is stored as electric potential so which means the potential the basic potential formula is always going to be work upon charge the basic formula is always going to be work upon charge and for that you can easily find out the SI and CGS units for SI units it's very simple for SI units 
so the work is taken as in joule and charge is in coulomb so which means si units are joule per coulomb but they are basically known as volt they are basically known as volt and similarly for cgs units now if we go through the cgs units so that is going to be just a per stack coulomb and which is also known as Which is also known as stack volt. That is the basic units, SI and CGS units. Now you can also draw the basic dimensional formula of potential. For basic dimensional formula, because that is work upon charge, the dimensional formula for work is yes, M L2 T minus 2, and for charge is it's A T. So, which means the basic dimension formula is going to be M L2 T minus 3 A inverse. So, that is known as the basic dimensional formula for electric potential. It's so simple. So, the types, basic concepts, statements, SI and series units. Now, the main thing is electric potential is a vector or a scalar quantity. Although it's having direction, but it's again it's a scalar quantity. The reason behind that because its, it's reason is same as as it for current. Current is also having a definite direction, but it's also a scalar quantity. The reason behind that they both are not following the simple vector algebra, which means they are not following parallelogram law, triangular law, or polygon law vector addition. So that's why. Electric potential and current both are scalar while they are having a particular direction. That is the main reason we have. So, which means the electric potential is a scalar quantity. Now, if you want to define one volt, now how you can define one volt if you know the basic formula that is work on charge? So, it's so simple. It's so simple. We can drive it very simply. If we have one volt of charge. Now, what is one volt? So, one volt is going to be one joule upon one coulomb. And similarly, one step, one step volt is going to be equal to yes, one earth over one step coulomb. So, these are the basic 